video of the stream, the dark side of Ryan's world. I'm not gonna lie, I have only seen about like 60 seconds at the most, and that that's highballing it of Ryan's world in my life or Ryan's toy review. Um, and most of those, I would say about like 45 seconds of those clips, uh, or or pieces of watching it was was random clips I saw on Instagram making fun of him now, like. It would show him being a, a, a older kid or a teenager. I don't know what he is now. Reviewing toys and they're like, "Come on, bro, give it up." I haven't actually seen that much of when he was an actual kid because it's just not the type of content I ever watched. But I've always known of him. Uh, so I, I don't know what the dark side is unless it's like his parents making him do videos or something. Uh, I guess that would make sense. I just don't know enough of the lore. Yeah, exactly. I've just seen memes. Uh, so let's let's check. We're gonna learn today. We're gonna learn today. I think this is Sonny V two or is this Internet? Uh, is this Internet Arcanist? Or ar 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 anarchist, sorry, not arcanist. Arcanine, go! With over 50 billion views, 37 million Hold on. subscribers. I'll be back! Sorry, it was a dire situation. My brother texted me saying, what's that song? What's that song by KSI called? And I had to tell him. I had to go up there and tell him. Because otherwise, he was never going to be able to listen to it. And I would have just felt so bad. I would have felt so bad. And his own toy line, Ryan's Man, World is undoubtedly one of the most knows. successful channels on YouTube. YouTube production, we mainly handle it. And we produce over probably 10, 20 videos each week i don't think ryan's toy review is rotting kids like it might be rotting kids brains but like the, the difference with the cocomelon one that we watched is like they scientifically rotted kids brains and we're lying about being an educational channel with toy reviews it's like you kind of get what you get i mean like i said i haven't seen any of his videos but if my son's watching uh peak fiction uh bakugan battle brawlers uh toy review i'm not expecting them to fucking learn anything from that i'm expecting them to watch some bakugan Right? Or like Beyblade or some shit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't really see it, but maybe. But what I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's just the, the fact that he's had to make content his whole life and hasn't gotten to live a normal life. Maybe. Maybe he's talked about it. I don't know. But l let's see. In the thick of it, However, behind knows. the facade of fame, money, and smiles lies a much darker reality. A reality oh, that no. the young star's parents will go to great lengths to keep hidden from the internet. Oh, no. But as the years have the gone on, parents. the exploitation of Ryan oh, God, has okay. only become more apparent. <laughs> that is so fucked up of an edit, I'm not gonna lie. Attracting comments stating, Imagine having to sit there and nod your head while watching your parents talk at your own interview. I wonder if when he gets yeah, older, he'll the thick of a lot it. more unfiltered about I'm how in the he thick feels, of it, every as well. Everybody knows. I can't wait for the real Ryan interview in 10 years and not just his parents being interviewed with that him. That is present. true. Hi. Because they're probably afraid if, if he gets interviewed on his own, he's going to be like, yeah, mommy and daddy said I can't fucking, uh, I don't know, uh, do my homework and then go to sleep until I record five fucking videos. That's a, a random ass question that makes no sense to YouTube. On my Twitch, I totally forgot to do this, by the way. I said for like a certain amount of points, I'll put on the schoolgirl outfit. That's when I first got it, when I was like, 17 or some shit or 16 not not 16 i had to be 17 or 18 and maybe it was a little bit later i must have been like 18 by then i, I was probably uh you, you know uh uh out of the range of like james charles or edp or or dr disrespect and i, I you, you know legal <laughs> but i put it there thinking someone would actually do it no one ever fucking did it so i want to remove it or change it because i have other stuff now uh like i have a hot scene amiku cosplay i got the neko art cosplay i got the normal arc cosplay uh, we got some other ones that aren't just that. <laughs> so, that's the point, though. I also didn't really want someone to do it. <laughs> but I was thinking maybe someone who's chronically online enough will get it eventually. And then I just stopped streaming on Twitch for like three years. <laughs> so, yeah. I create weekly YouTube documentaries. And today, we'll be looking into the concerning career. Why is this the background music? The background music should be this. Wait, ew. Not, not the true red part. I'm talking about my go KSI. Wait! Oh, they told from the ring to the ring to the pin to the king. I love that song so much. 
of Ryan's Someone should ask Ryan if he likes that song. I'm sure he does. Confined to a Fuck. What the? Uh, what is up with my ads lately? That shit showed half a second, and then gave up. Called like the Sona, and how his parents used him as an asset. 17k to is crazy. Hundred right? million dollar business. The Ryan's World Channel, initially known as Ryan's Crap. Toys no, Reviews, <laughs> was created on the 17th yeah, the, the, of March 2015, and received its first upload on the same day. I can't tell you to touch grass. I'm the one fucking streaming the shit. I gotta touch grass even worse. Because I gotta set up the stream and, and do shit after. <laughs> you just gotta watch it and dip. Okay, what you, what you want today? What toy you want today? What is your pick of the week? A Lego choo-choo train. A Lego choo-choo train? Uh -huh. See, this was a happy Ryan. Before the fame. Before the fame. Full of uploads on the channel followed the basic formula. I'm gonna pull. It's like, I, 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 I've been watching a lot of like... I, I got into the rabbit hole of a, a lot of the, the crime documentaries on, on YouTube. Like... Um, Doctor Insanity or something like that or like ones where it's like uh, the police found this or something like or the interrogation videos but then I also saw because I watched one random clip of a it was from a movie of like Ted Bundy before the execution or something uh, it was after I watched the video of him in the interview before the, the execution and then I saw a psychologist going over his execution interview and, and going over like the little things like the way his lip quivered here and the fucking way that his eye did this and all that shit we need to do this on Ryan and actually see his true emotions. But I'm not smart enough. I took AP Psychology in high school. Don't remember any of it. So. <laughs> of Ryan's mother taking him to the store to pick out a toy. And then filming his energetic reactions. From the outside looking in, Ryan was living every child's dream. And his mother seemed to enjoy the quality time they shared together. A wholesome interaction. Okay, I've never seen those ones. Should replace the Prime in the video with a Bloxy Cola? What the fuck am I... Are you talking about the oh and the, and the thick of a video? That any child or parent could enjoy watching. However, after yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, week, I genuinely maybe this is different for them because this was before this was like a huge thing. Maybe because like, I don't remember how old this is. He's been around for a minute, but I genuinely don't understand how you can film your kid for YouTube outside of money, which I wouldn't do. But like, it is a reason, even if it's a fucked up one. Um, it's just so weird to me. It's so fucking weird to me that dynamic would be shaken up with the family being put on a journey that they could have never imagined by the 1st of july 2015 ryan and his family received their first taste of online virality the same reason why like, i feel really bad for child actors because like well that's never gonna go away because you know movies need child actors to play fucking children it, it, it always comes to that point where i feel like not always but you always hear those fucking stories from like nick loading or disney actors where i'm assuming they're the, the main breadwinner for the family but they're also a kid, so they have these unfair fucking expectations put on them, and they gotta go through crazy shit and, and be stuck with Dan Schneider for a weekend. It's crazy. Idol, giant it's like Usher McQueen was stuck with Diddy. Surprise! 100 plus Disney cars. Toys. Allegedly, the upload gained several million views during the first month and is currently at over a billion views. The implications of this were clear. There was a massive untapped audience that enjoyed watching Ryan play with toys. In an effort to recreate that success, Ryan's mother uploaded another 27 videos in July and even began participating in the videos herself. Damn. Hey man, at least he got, at least he got a few cool childhood years out of it before he realized he was being filmed for fucking everything. Cause like, I, I'm when I was a kid, you know, it was like, no, nah, you don't get this toy. You get what your older brother had. Shit, my, my fucking parents should have just thrown on Ryan's toy review. I would have been like, oh shit, that's the toy I wanted. Go, Ryan, go. Go, Ryan, go. Arr! I'm the Ninja Turtle. Arr! Oh my god, he's got. Oh, fuck, that's what it is. Go, Ryan, go. Even though the frequency of uploads had increased, they were much shorter, which meant long filming sessions wouldn't stress the three year old Ryan. However, he was three. Shift in his parents oh my God, bro! From making sure he Ryan didn't have a conscience at all. To getting as many videos out as quickly as possible. By the start of 2016, the family's frequent uploads were massively rewarded, as Ryan's world surpassed five million subscribers and became one of the most viewed channels on YouTube. I wonder if they ever had a plan for like now. Like, did they? Because they had to have been. The parents had to have been stressed and like, oh God, one day he's gonna get that first chin hair, and everyone's gonna fucking unsubscribe. Cause why the fuck is a grown ass man playing with toys? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Over 6 billion views. In an interview with Chukilta, Ryan's mother revealed some details about what inspired them to create the channel. Reading, one day he asked me, how come I'm not on YouTube when all the other kids are? So we just decided, yeah, we can do that. Then we Wait, took him to what? the store to get his very first- uh, it, it makes it sound like there was hella kids on YouTube, but I feel like there wasn't, but I, I guess I get it. 
Yeah, fair toy. enough. I think it was a Lego train set, and it all started from there. When questioned on how filming videos would affect I mean, my Ryan first YouTube video when I was like YouTube, Ryan's mother had this to say. 13 right now, shit. he loves making videos. Or 12. Every time I tell him we're going to film, he gets so excited. I, I, as before, long as before YouTube, I used to have a Facebook Live page where I would post my raps. I, I would rap a song out loud uh, with a piece of paper reading lyrics and, and, and beats that were definitely stolen from actual artists like Wiz Khalifa and, and shit. Yeah, I've scrubbed it off the internet by now. It's, it's gone. It was gone fucking years ago. But I like I wish I kept it because it, it was fucking flames, man. I was out here like, I, I wish I remembered the lyrics. I remember I rapped to like Wiz Khalifa's The Race beat or something. And then I made a remix of All Right. And I said, homie, we gonna be all right. Instead of the other word. <laughs> I was like, I was literally 11 or 12. Uh, and then, yeah, it was, it was before I got I ever did a YouTube anything. And then I, I think my freshman year, I had another YouTube channel. And then I started my actual, like, Eddie Hates Anime career when I was, like, 16. I think I was 16. Um, so, yeah. So, I've been in this bitch for, what, nine years? And I still ain't famous. I think I gotta hang it up, Unk. <laughs> Unk's gotta hang it up. <laughs> he's loving it, and it doesn't disrupt Put up his the shoes, routine. Man. We plan on continuing. But the moment he's not having fun anymore, that's when it will be time to stop. At the time, no one doubted the parents' claims of putting Ryan's needs before creating content. However, as the time passed and the business grew, these claims would become minute. harder and harder to take seriously. By the start no, of I was, uh, was going to say, I was practically Ryan's, Ryan's toy brand. review, but but just doing rap instead. But I started at 12. This motherfucker started at 3. He had a whole... Fucking nine years on me. Oh my god. Ryan's needs before creating content. How does he now However, actually? as the time passed. I'm so my, my, my sense of time is so skewed with anything that I see normally as a child, because like I always see him as a kid. Same with like the Jesse actors or something. And then I realize they're fucking just as old as me, as not if not older. Cause I think Sky Jackson's like my age, which is so weird to me because I'm so used to seeing her as like the kid. She's twenty she's older than me. Sky Jackson's older than me. It just feels weird. Cause I like I'm so used to seeing Zuri. And I, I, that just feels fucked up to say because I'm sure that pisses her the fuck off. That pissed me the fuck off. Oh, he's 13. Oh, he's on his shit. Google's saying he's 12. Get it right, motherfucker. Well, hey, he's a billionaire though. But damn, he's still got how many years under his parents' thumb making videos before he can dip? Oh my god. He's got five more years of this fucking uh, nine to five grew, of, of, of videos. These harder and harder to take seriously. By the start of 2019, he's he's the Ryan's World brand had grown to unimaginable heights, spawning mainstream children's series, toy lines, and an entire media company dedicated. He probably is 13. I don't know. I just saw the AI overview, which you never trust, anyways, because last time it said Will Smith was the new Green Lantern. Why is my camera freaking production. out? However, as the Kaji family's popularity grew, so did the inquisition from fans about- Is that super wide? My goat! You guys ever see the Latino knockoff? Or was it not a knockoff? I don't know. I feel like- Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was- No, I think it was- They just- I don't even remember. Maybe I'm maybe I'm thinking of the wrong thing. I think I'm I think I'm thinking of the wrong thing. I think he just was brown. I think he just was was brown. <laughs> Good example Look, I don't remember shit from my childhood. Article from the Daily Mail. I remember names. In September 2019, the article uncovered some concerning <gasps> details about Ryan's mother's past and revealed the parents' true identities. Reading on well, May it might 4th, not be that bad. What they do? What they do? Alone, then known as Kyo Alone, the Nguyen, was arrested for breaching a probation okay, order, you which know, had been imposed in 2002. Stealing is bad, but caught stealing clothing at JC you know, department store in Almeida Mall. There's pedophiles Easter, on YouTube, so her initial offense you know, only resulted in 40 hours of community service. Yeah, you know, 150. I was say it's JC Penny, bro. Like, you know, like she ain't still from Walmart. Tory attendance in an anti shoplifting class. Ryan's mother outright anti shoplifting class is crazy. As a result, she would later be sentenced to two months in Houston County Prison, but only served half her sentence. She didn't steal well, from a target. The argument that this happened a long time ago and had no bearing on who she, she didn't even steal now, toys. Information naturally brought up concerns about her character. No, nah, I'm not gonna lie. Like, okay, yeah, she, this is was fucked up. But like, I feel like a lot of us have. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm just speaking for myself, but like. You know, like I, I, I don't want to get too deep and stuff. But like my, my parents have done shit in the past. It wasn't anything super crazy, but you know, like they lived in LA. You know how it be. But they, they're fine. Like I reckon, you know, like 
that, that's not the worst crime it could have been, is what I'm saying. I'm not saying she's perfect, but I feel like that's going too far. However, especially I, now I, that she was using her age. I'll say shop like out of everything, shoplifting is fucking nothing, bro. I'm not saying it's right, but like, bro, at the end of the day, that's not genuine. Like, that's not hurting anyone besides a, a billionaire's pockets. That, that's not harming another human, though. You know, it's the face of a channel that brought it's bad, millions of dollars but, per month. A few days after the article was published, you know, Ryan's parents were taking an interview with CBS to quell suspicions from fans and show how much of a happy family they really were. We try not to capture any moment that Ryan's in distress, any moment that we feel like he will not be proud of when he grows <laughs> yeah. up. He's I don't think he's going to be proud of any of this when he grows up. We have, you know, we, like, well, we I, have I'd be proud if I made millions, uh, we don't uh, want to billions as a kid. That. We always uh, trying to figure out what we did right. <laughs> to, to get here. Unfortunately, the sentiment of quote putting the kids first would only become more difficult to believe as the Ryan's World brand was hit with complaints of exploiting their child audience for profit. According to the Federal oh. Trade Commission, the truth in advertising non profit they made lunch the Ryan's World channel was not properly disclosing the inclusion of sponsored products in their videos and subliminally marketing mm. to kids. Reading When a YouTube video directed to children under the age of five mixes advertising with pro program content, as Ryan's Toys Reviews videos frequently do, the preschool audience is unable to understand or even identify the difference between marketing material yeah, I and think, organic I, I content. Yeah, I think it's a rule that you have to say when shit's sponsored. Indicator that attempts to identify marketing so that's just, content. that's breaking YouTube's rules as well. To make matters well. worse, this complaint no, I'm not came around the same time, YouTube Internet, and uh, Google uh, are settling snitching. a 170 I'm just, I'm million just, dollar fine for violating <laughs> child privacy laws. This prompted some heavy-handed changes to how creators advertise oh, this the children before, okay. and force the Kaji family to change the name. Oh wait, no, I don't know anything about the children. channel from I don't Ryan's fucking Toys Reviews make videos for to children. Ryan's World. The fact that Ryan's parents oh, were willing to psychologically manipulate other children with undisclosed advertising only made fans more concerned about what they could make Ryan do for He's the sake of revenue. Shirt. Sadly, these worries became impossible to ignore as Ryan drew closer to his teenage years. From 2020 to 2023, fans of the Ryan's World brand would increasingly bring up ethical concerns around Ryan's continued involvement in kids' content and criticize the general decline of the channel's quality, as well as the fact that the channel's overall objective had become pushing their cheap toys well, and children's Well, you know, it products. could be worse. When I was his age, when I was, what, 12 or 13, uh, when I entered middle school, I thought I was the hardest gangster of all time. For no fucking reason. I, that's just how my rebellious phase went. He's playing with toys. Uh, yeah, it, it could be worse, right? It could be worse. And criticize the general decline of the channel's quality, as well as the fact that the channel's overall objective had become pushing their cheap toys and children's <laughs> Fuck products. Fuck Ryan's world. This, shit, this, this Ryan's toy review shit gets serious. Cool, where they focused on giving their sons some great imaginary play opportunities. But now they're just shills for their own crappy toys. My kids don't uh... know the difference, but I do and I despise it. Fans would also point out how uncomfortable Ryan seemed in recent uploads. Damn it! With comments reading, Why the fuck can't I Ryan, get to, get to this point where I can I scare motherfuckers? And he I'm seems kidding. miserable doing kind of. it. No excitement in his voice at all. His wows were like a wow person gives I just want to make money, damn it. Even though it's not cool. <laughs> I'm fucking poor. the toys and to play with it by himself. I just want money. Without an effing camera shoved in his face. I feel sorry for the kid. As well as they well, blatantly uh, Okay, if I start a crypto scam, or not a scam, uh, a crypto opportunity. Who's joining me? Huh? Eh? Oh, crypto's not a fashion no more? Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me cook. Let me cook. What if I start a course those those are still happening right a course on how to make it big on the internet that's never happened before we're cooking here we're cooking i'm kidding i fucking hate those i hate those so much like because and they have such a good defense as well sadly because they'd be like look at i'm big obviously i know what i'm talking about it it's like yes yes you're big on youtube or whatever you're on so yes, I guess technically you do know what you're talking about, but just because you are doesn't mean you're gonna be able to make everyone else big. If that makes sense, it, 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 sadly those people are just wasting their money, hoping that they're gonna get big because they're listening to this creator's fucking videos or something. Uh, I guess the only one that I can think of that's worse is the alpha ones. <laughs> those are crazy. Oh, they mean to click off the video. This is how the story goes. They have a Ryan game Whoa. too, which is impossible without spending money on it. Ryan will be like Macaulay Culkin when he gets older. As Ryan approached his 13th birthday, Discord around his reluctance to film kids' content well, and Macaulay the need to retire hung which out with beyond his core fan base so, and go mainstream just like with several hundred videos on platforms like TikTok. This is the one that I saw! This is what I saw! 999,999? 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999, 999,
morning workout comes the leap. I'm ready for superhero school. While I head to school, check out this clip from Ryan's World, the movie, Titan Universe Adventure. The movie? Now here's 99,998. Why is he doing it again? One million. Excellent. All right. He looks infinitely sadder in this clip. clip. All right, guys. Um, before we go to superhero school, let me show you a sneak peek for my new movie, Ryan's World. TikTok wasn't the only place How do you get a fucking case that's not him? For what the Ryan's World oh, become, is it not? They heavily disliked all of their recent videos. It looks like him. It just looks like his hair was done a little bit better in the second clip. He was even doing it in the middle of the clip. He was fucking doing this. <laughs> or are we just all racist because we saw two Asian kids and assumed they were the same? Because his hair is, like, weirdly back in this one, so I can't even tell. And the camera's different. The the lens is different, so I can't even tell. I don't think it's the same person. But unless these are, like, farther apart. Why would they show in the video if it's not him? Why would they show... Oh, wait! No, I think this is a random kid making fun of that video. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Tempura, you're racist. Why would you say that's the same person? Nine. One I can't believe this. Excellent. It doesn't. Yeah, I think it's a skit too. I think it's a skit as well. All right, guys. Um, before we go to superhero school, let me show you a sneak peek for my new movie, Ryan's World. TikTok yeah, yeah, he was making fun of it for sure. Fans showcased their distaste for what the Ryan's World brand had become, as they heavily disliked all of their recent videos. Mm. Some fans of Ryan's World would even go as far as signing petitions for his retirement, reading, "Ryan's adolescence is being governed." By I, the I get these for like important things right like uh i don't know like uh save the turtles or some shit i don't fucking know or like uh, uh don't kill dogs I i'm just thinking of, like the most random out there shit but like who genuinely thinks ryan's toy review is gonna read this shit and go oh man they signed a petition Jurats, i'm gonna retire now no no it's just not happening Greed of his parents. I'm sorry. Insist on preserving the current format of a channel that was more suitable for a younger child. Their interests. They're not Ryan's wrong though. Ryan's personal but growth, it's just not going to work. Continued financial it's gain sad, that his but juvenile content work. provides. It wasn't too long ago when Ryan's mother stated they would cease production if he wasn't comfortable with filming. But now that claim is hollow as they continue you're to probably comfortable with that money. Despite they probably said, when you're 18, we're going to give you hella money. Just keep making videos, please. <laughs> we're going to spend all that shit last year. We need more. We need more. There it is, guys. And they probably won't get him shit when he's 18. Universe Adventure Mystery Eggs. Whoa. Oh my god. They look so cool. Each egg has a surprise this is crazy. It, and you'll never know what you'll get. There's exclusive movie figures, awesome gears, and But who more. knows? Maybe, maybe he's genuinely happy. You never know. Maybe, maybe he's hype as fuck. Maybe, maybe you know, the Ryan's to uh, World movie, not Toy Review. I'm gonna grab a few of these to open at home. Us too! Even her initial claims that Ryan was the one who came up with the channel now seems like an embellishment at best. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. Worst. An aspect of Ryan's situation that's often and, and, and when a kid wants to start a YouTube channel, it's them filming themselves playing Xbox, not uh, them their parents filming, editing, buying the fucking shit for the video, and, and doing all that shit. You, you know what I'm saying? He's Ryan Gosling smoking in the rain when the camera is off. These viewers could affect his personal life. Considering how unusual his situation is, I think it's really uncanny Ryan for the faces. Face significant bullying from his peers, and might not even be able to make real friends. Or people no. that wouldn't bully him, but are only friends for the money. I don't know if you heard that I was yawning, but like people that are only friends with him for the money. Because how the fuck do you know the that fact age? That Ryan eh. has spent the majority of his I hope not all fucking what twelve year olds are just friends with him for the money. I feel like I don't know. I I, I don't really know people like that. I guess, but it seems like an older thing that would happen. But I never uh, underestimate humans' abilities to be fucked up. Ryan would face significant bullying from his peers and might not even be able to make real friends. Not to mention the fact that Ryan had spent the majority of his Paw Patrol shirt. years Woo. with a camera in his face. Paw Patrol low key peak though. I ain't gonna lie. That he might not have been Paw Patrol hits. With. Left unchecked, such developmental issues would inevitably cascade into teenage and adult years, causing a host of other problems. Unfortunately, it seems his parents aren't all too concerned about that, lie, yeah. as seen in their latest interview with John Yushai, which focused primarily on the production side of things. I mean, those numbers are crazy. You guys have over 10 different YouTube channels, over 80 You probably asked a serious question, and they're like, it turned into a Meat Canyon skit. 
Behold, you have lost your chance to ask any questions. I'm just fucking who's across them. How big is turns the him into a toy that runs this and, and then he's in the new the, through, the, like, the, 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 so they turn this guy into a toy and then it cuts to like look at Ryan's toy review new video. Look at my green action figure. That would be a fire me cannon video. And this then we'll rewind back to talk about how this all happened. Yeah, for the production side, um, you know, we wow, you ain't seen the Paw Patrol Houston. movie, it's fucking it's fake Sunlight fan entertainment, and we have full time employee about 30 employees, 30 to 40 employees. Dude, that, this yeah, is so are... crazy. I get it, I get it because it makes so much money, and I and I understand it, but it just feels so crazy seeing a kid channel with this many fucking employees. In Houston, it's called Sunlight Entertainment, and we have full time employee about 30 employees, 30 to 40 employees. And uh, I'm not yeah, blaming any employees, man. Mail. Make your fucking bread. It's the parents. <laughs> working on the production. And no one's problem is even the fact that they made bread. It's the fact that like they're clearly they're clearly dragging that shit. But like you know, and the the, the safety of the child as well, or not necessarily the safety, but like the comfortableness of the child in wanting to do the fucking videos. But yeah, I I, I too agree. I, I think it was fine when he was younger, but if he wants to stop, he won't. He's got to. You gotta let him stop. That's the real issue. We just don't know because you know. They probably control him what the fuck he says. The content. While the interview did give some insight into how Ryan's role in production was less involved than before, it tired. was apparent that they still wanted him to participate in videos for the foreseeable future. Is there a You know what? I, 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 if they're so fucking worried about it, when Ryan turns 18, have these two play with the fucking toys by themselves. See if they still get the views, huh? It was your fucking idea. They still wanted him to participate in videos for the foreseeable future. Backyardigan's version of. Think of it. Oh. Is there a day where the YouTube channels will be fully animation? Like, uh, Ryan, are you gonna keep making YouTube videos? That's a good idea. Go you into animation. To be an animator and maybe go behind the camera yeah. like, as you get older. I think I will keep going for a while. Yeah. How, how do you? Oh, look at the look that his parents gave. He was about to say, "I, I would like to be in a, in a behind the camera role instead." He looked at his ca his dad and he's like, "What the fuck you say?" Maybe go behind the camera. Like, as you I'm breaking this shit down. Older. I think I will. Look at him. The way that his lip quivered. Oh my god. It, look at it, it was so open and inviting. And then he saw his son start talking. He's like, shut the fuck up. Look at Behind the camera, like as you get older. Look at I Okay, happy. Happy. Then he heard his son's voice. I think I will. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the face fucking change. Oh my goodness. Let's keep analyzing. Keep going for a while. Oh, and then, see? Then he heard what he wanted to hear. And then after the moment of hesitation, because his face did change again. See, Guy so. Oh my God. Keep what? Going for huh? Oh, he'll keep going. Oh, okay. Nice, 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 nice. How do you guys think? Now let's analyze the mother. I didn't look. Making YouTube videos, giving your interest to be an animator and maybe go behind the camera, like as you get older. I think. Okay, I she just looks worried, blank face. I just kissed my mic. I will. She she's trying to pretend like she don't care. She's you know like I don't care. You know I don't even care if the game loads. Open it loads, you know? Keep going for But she's blinking a lot. And I'm about to make this shit. I was going to make make up some shit and be like, if she blinks a lot, it means she's guilty. Like, uh, this sounds like some shit they would say. For a while, yeah. How, how do you okay, okay. You know, mother passed the, the, the lying test. The father looks a little bit sus to me. What do you guys think about the future of the channel? Um, but I kind of like that added haircut. And how much of that relies on having a human component as your kids get older? You know... Uh, Hmm. Now let's look at Ryan's facial features. One or not features, about, uh, movements. Is we want to make sure we care. Okay, his eyes are darting everywhere. He doesn't want to make eye contact with his dad. It's going to make him think about toys. He doesn't want to think about toys right now. He fucking hates toys. He's been playing with these shit since he was three. And none of those times... Well, let me fact check this. Ryan's toy review. Bakugan. And, and in all those years, he's never even fucking played Bakugan. His life was ass! Oh my god! His life was ass! He didn't even play with Bakugan! Oh my god! I can't fucking believe it! I can't believe it! He missed out on Peak Fiction! Kids get older. You know, one thing we're thinking about is we want to make sure we cater toward the existing fan. Uh, five to eight years old are the, our core demographic. But at the same time, Ryan's growing up and then he has new interests. We want to cater toward his new interest as well, new, new, uh, I was new joking, field. but his eyes are going back and forth, but I get it. He's probably looking at his dad, looking at the interviewer, looking at his dad, looking at the interviewer because it's who's talking, but I, I, I was just joking. So maybe we'll start a new one, and then this, this Ryan's World channel- Fuck off! No! <laughs> I love Critical, but- 
Hey guys, it's Critical here. Uh, in today's uh, video, we watched Ryan's toy review, and you know, it just felt like uh, the mix of going to Waffle House and fighting one of the employees and uh, a hurricane in Florida, you know, just not a good time, just not a good time. And you know, my thoughts on the, the situation, it, 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 you know, not good, just not good. Is that is that good? I feel like the only issue with the Moist Critical comparisons, because I get it, long hair, you know, but I'm too loud. It's only when I'm tired that I sound closer to like his monotone voice. Because yes, there is times where I sound closer to that because I'm not a fake. Uh... Well, I was gonna do some absurd vulgarity, but it's a video about a kid. That just seems kind of weird, you know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna taint the video like that. But um, if I actually am tired, I'm not gonna go on stream like, hey everybody, what's the fuck is up? You know, I will actually be tired because I'm just not fake like that. Uh, so in those times, I do sound a little bit closer to critical. Yeah, like you said, anime. But it is an honor could take over a little uh, bit. for people to, to call me critical. You know, I like that man. And previous ones barely allowed Ryan to speak or voice his opinion when he's with his parents. But he never braids like, his hair, and I do braid my hair. So it's only when it's down do people say that. Chuck it up to him not being involved in the production. I've never seen him do anything business. with his hair, actually. It's strange that the actual star of the show is given so few lines during his own interviews. Family channels have always had a controversial... This reminds me of a fucking story. I'm going to tell this on the second channel, so I'll give the abridged version. So, the show it's his interview. So few lines He's got his no lines, interview. right? When I was in fifth fucking grade, we were going to make a movie with an iPad. And, and it was my group, we, we were doing the, the Benjamin Franklin movie. And uh, I was Benjamin Franklin. I had one fucking line in the entire movie. What the fuck? I was I was fucking pissed. There was more to the story. Uh, there was some 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 real banger parts to the story. Like there was an actual plot twist in the end, uh, involving the iPad, involving uh, the girl in the group that made me do so many lines. Uh, spoiler alert: she was my crush at the time. Uh, just crazy story. So I will be telling that on, on, on the second channel. But yeah, how the fuck do you make a Benjamin Franklin movie? Benjamin, Benjamin fucking Franklin has no lines. I had one line, and I think I was testing out a fucking uh, invention or some shit. I don't remember. It was fucking crazy. It was fucking crazy. I was pissed. The views. Family channels have always had a controversial reputation on YouTube, and for good reason. More often than not, you know sucks. Today I was like, okay, we're gonna watch this video. It's not gonna take that long. I'd be talking too much during these Sunny V uh, V2. Or wait, is that his name? Yeah. Or internet. Uh, our, 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 our anarchist or anything like documentary style, and then it, I still do it. Yap fest, man. Yap fest. Between a parent and a child is tainted That's by the not a financial gain when I making bad family content. It's also not uncommon to see family channels force their children to keep making content beyond their younger years. I do want to start making story time videos again though, because there's so many shit no moments. concrete evidence that this is the about. case with Ryan and his parents, one cannot overlook the power dynamic present. And Damn, we just watched all fucking 20 minutes for him to say possible. maybe. Not to mention the fact <gasps> that they That's a good question. Any Did he play with Beyblades? Ryan's toy review. Beyblades. Oh my god. Oh wait. Nerf toys, monster trucks, Beyblades, and more. So he did play with Beyblade at least. Now, was it OG era, Metal Fusion era, or Beyblade Burst and Beyond? That's the real question. Where are the fucking Beyblades at? Wait, how many years ago was this? This was five years ago. Okay, so it was definitely like Burst. It was definitely Burst. Yeah. I don't remember exactly when they started getting all plastic key because I'm looking at the newer ones and I just don't like how they look that much. Although I really like the Hello Kitty one they released. This shit's so fucking fire. I'm going to get it because it's not too expensive for like what you think it would be. It's the most fire fucking thing ever though. Um, But I miss when they were like metal, you know? That shit was so hard. But like, I will say, I will give credit where it's due. Like the designs are hard, but... It's just not the same, which I'm not, I don't want it to be because, you know, it's different, but I, I do have a lot of nostalgia for the old shit. Thank you, Dedico. I appreciate that. I actually used a new shampoo and conditioner today. Um, it, 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 it was uh, Herbal Essence and, and I have the scent because I want to start using scented shit because uh, the fucking, uh, I, I normally use my goddamn, uh, like my brother's like fucking random ass shampoo that he got from the dollar store or some shit, so. I said, fuck this. I have too nice of hair to be treating it this way. If it was girly pop pink. I don't know. I kind of like the, the, the Harvey red, you know, like it kind of gangs delicious. Uh, Hello Kitty. You feel me? I kind of, I kind of low key prefer that. Let's, let's pull it up again for, for research. 
I don't know, man. I think this shit's hard. I'm buying it, though. It's like 20 bucks. It's so fucking fire. Yeah, 20, oh, 32. When I saw it, it was 20. But still worth it. Still worth it. What I what Beyblade I want to get? OG El Drago. The only left-turning Beyblade, bro. El Drago, uh, Beyblade, Metal Fusion. And there was multiple versions. I remember I had the one with, like, the, the rubber on the side or whatever. So fucking fire. Let me, let me pull this shit up. See, like, I think these are, like, the newer ones. Or, no, these aren't the newer ones. These are just different versions. Uh, I'm trying to find the one that I had. I think I had this one. Nope, not that one. So, yeah, I think these are newer launchers. Or these are the ones that more, were more expensive when I was younger. So, I never actually had one of those. Let me go to images. $1,000 fucking dollars. That looks fire, though. I won't lie. I'm just trying to find the one I had. Well, I had multiple of them. Oh, this is one of them. The one on the left. I loved this one. Long ass hair. Thank you. Well, I don't know if that's a compliment or just an observation. Either way. But, Ryuga, the owner of El Drago, the greatest villain ever, bro. He would fucking just throw his El Drago on the ground. With no spin. No, no nothing. He just throw it on the ground. And then it would, out of the counteracting with the other Beyblades, it would gain power. That shit was so fucking fire. I want to rewatch this shit, man. I want to rewatch this shit. He was the actual GOAT, bro. Bro, some of the best anime villains come from, from kids shows, bro. Masquerade from Bakugan. Oh, my God. My GOAT. So, yeah. Peak. Let's finish. We still have three minutes left the fucking video. I gotta shut the fuck up. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. 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 Beyblades is what turns a boy into a man. You missed out. Or so monster truck. I actually still have some of my Beyblade shit, but not nearly like any of the amount that I used to have. Oh wait, this isn't the fucking video we we're watching. We already watched this shit. This is the, f f the, the most of it. This is the fucking. <laughs> that was the other video we pulled up. Oh my god, man. Signs of allowing Ryan to move Almost on. Almost just watched a random Ryan's toy review video. That fits his age. Holy Even shit. though it was Ryan's was face rough. and personality that fueled the business, his parents are the ones. I'm who not gonna lie. I don't really remember using any monster trucks. And as a control kid. the brand, which means we can only hope that Ryan isn't being held hostage by the success he helped create. If you thought. And the worst part is, even if there was a part of him that didn't like it, since you know, obviously you trust your parents, you love your parents, and. I'm sure they convinced him somewhat like this is the best for him. So he probably doesn't have any of those doubts, even if he did at any time. Like he probably can't even make those thoughts uh, just because, you know, his age and like the the power dynamic, like I said. So black and green monster truck. I don't know, man. I don't really play with monster trucks. I'm sorry. But cause I, like I said, I play with cool shit like Pokemon, Beyblade, Bakugan. What am I missing? I didn't really get into Digimon or Yu-Gi-Oh until I was older. But they are both fire. Play Digimon Survive, by the way. Um, what else was there? There was this one game. I can't fucking remember what it was. I have to look it up before the next stream. There was one that I really liked for like a few months. Me and my brother loved. I remember I had cards. I remember I had toys. I just don't remember what it was. And I can't remember. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to talk. I'll have to look it up later because I can't even remember the specifics. I have to talk about it to my brother about it. Hot Wheels were goaded for sure. Hot Wheels were goaded. Yeah. Yeah, there was, there was a lot of goaded shit, man. A lot of goaded shit. Um, I should probably end the video, though. Uh, Dark Side of Ryan's World.